One. You only need to do one. Sweet. Okay. Now, turning your body with your waist. So we practice rolling over a little bit, but let's just start with uh, not using your legs. So you're not you're not pushing. Like I can get my hips to twist one way by pushing my knee in the ground. That's me pushing my knee in, which rolls my hips. Instead of doing that, I'm going to actually twist my waist to lift the hips up off the ground. So just rock your pelvis back and forth. You're turning it, but instead of using your legs, you're using your waist. And then, and then if you reach your arms out in front of you, try to avoid pushing through your elbows and see if you can turn yourself at the hips, and then when you get to the halfway point, you're not going to fall over, but rather you're going to use the same waist to slow your descent, so you slowly roll to your back. If your pelvis and ribcage are in the exact same place, you will not be able to do this, right? You need one to be in front of the other, so that's your ability to twist at the waist. If, if you can only roll, your pelvis and ribcage have to go everywhere together, it's going to be challenging. And go the other direction. Use your waist. Use your waist. And when you're on your back, my pelvis is behind my rib cage. So I can use my rib cage to kind of hold on to my pelvis and slow it down. Oh, yeah. And then we go the other direction. Steering from our twist. Steer with your twist. Oh, yeah. And we go the other direction. <laughs> if you go on to someone else's body, just yell steamroller before you do it. <laughs> Alright, and then roll onto your back. 